<laughs> I can't believe I'm going to do this, but I guess it's now or never. <laughs> I've got some bugs that I'm going to try to eat. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Howdy fellow foodie friends, who's your daddy here? Thanks for joining me. Now before we get into this, if you like food challenges and food reviews and snack tastings and cooking videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell so you don't miss out on any fun. That way you can be part of the Who's Your Daddy family. <laughs> so I've often said part of my goal with this channel is I want to develop an appreciation for weird and unusual foods. So if in case you missed it, I've done videos about like surstroming, which is like a fermented fish that's really, really <laughs> foul smelling. I've done the Pocky One chip. I'm gonna do that again, the really spicy chips. I've done other spicy challenges. I, I like to do unusual weird foods, but apparently bugs are eaten all over the world, pretty much everywhere except in America. It's not real common to eat bugs. Now, I will be up front and tell you that I have tried crickets before. And that's about it. And they weren't really too bad. But today it's gonna be a little more <laughs> uh, intimidating, I should say. I've got a tarantula, I've got a giant water bug, and I got some earthworm jerky. So I found all these at a place in Cincinnati, Ohio called Jungle Gyms, and they've got food from all over the world. Some weird and unusual stuff, so. I hope you enjoy this kind of thing, because <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm gonna enjoy this, we'll see. I think we're gonna start out with the easiest one, the least intimidating one, which is the earthworm jerky. Can't say that I've ever had this, but we'll see. Okay, here it is, earthworm jerky. It doesn't look too bad, it comes in this little bag. Okay, so it looks, I guess, about like you'd expect it to. It actually smells kind of sweet. What does it have in it? It says it's grilled earthworm, sugar, lime powder, smoked paprika, garlic, onion, red chili, spices, vinegar, salt, and MSG. So, from the sound of those ingredients, this should be pretty good. <laughs> I guess. We'll see. Here we go. Cheers. So, at first, it didn't taste too bad. Oh, the longer I'm trying to get that out of my teeth, the worse it tastes. See, it did say that, it, yeah, it has sugar in it. So it's kind of sickeningly sweet, almost. When you first taste it, you get that smoky flavor from the smoked paprika, and the garlic, and the onions. So it tastes kind of like meat. But then it's turned sweet, and you can taste the little granules of sugar. It's kind of like gritty on your teeth. And then the earthworm flavor hits you. <laughs> Which I think that's the unpleasant part. That combined with the sickeningly sweetness of the sugar. I think it could have done without the sugar. If it was just a little more meaty and smoky tasting, it might have been better. But the sugar, oh, it makes it taste more unpleasant. You combine that with the flavor of the earthworm which tastes kind of earthy. It tastes like you're eating dirt. So it's like a sweet, smoky dirt that's real gritty in your teeth. And just a little chewy, so it gets stuck in your teeth. Can't say that's enjoyable. Not endorsed by Who's Your Daddy. But if that was that bad, <laughs> I'm not looking forward to these other two. Now, I'm not sure which one seems more intimidating, the tarantula or the water bug. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try the water bug. That seems a little safer. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, Whew. let's see. Giant water bug. Oh, oh my gosh. Ooh, look at those things. There is no hiding what that is. Wow. Yep, 
That is definitely a bug. <laughs> Woo! Oh my gosh, look at that. It is still completely intact with its legs and its head. It doesn't, doesn't really smell like much anything. I wonder what they put in this. Water bugs and salt. That's it. No colors or preservatives, boiled and dehydrated, not fried, and no MSG. So I guess you're getting the flavor of the bug, and that's it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, suck it up, Matthew. You can do this. All right, here we go. I would almost rather eat the rotten fish. The surstroming is better than this. Okay, here we go. You can do this. Okay. <laughs> oh, here we go. think in order to make it through that you have to kind of tune your mind out so you're not thinking about what you're eating because oh it was so dry there's no moisture to it it was completely dried out so it was kind of crunchy and crispy but it was hard to swallow oh boy oh it looks like this other one has been decapitated <laughs> look at that his head fell off and his legs are falling off too. I'm gonna see if I can get somebody else to eat this one because I don't wanna eat that. That one is worse than the earthworm jerky. At least earthworm jerky had some flavor to it. This one, it just tasted like the bug. It, was, it tasted like it had been, I don't know, stored away for a long time, like it was old and stale. And it says best before March of 2022, made in Thailand. So I'm sure it was packaged quite a while ago. Still supposed to be good. But Ooh. I think that is completely for shock value. That is not for enjoyment at all. There was no good flavor to that. It just tasted dry and crusty and dirty. That is not <laughs> endorsed by Who's Your Daddy either. <laughs> okay, now time for the big bad one. It's the tarantula. <laughs> now, the tarantula. Here we go. Let's see what this one looks like. Giant tarantula. Look at that. Wow. That's a lot smaller than I expected. Okay. So look at that. It's not really a giant tarantula. It's just a little tarantula. I mean, that's small. <laughs> I don't really want to do this, but here we go. Here is the tarantula. He's all dry, too. Ooh, he's kind of fuzzy. I'm calling him a he. <laughs> He is all shriveled up too. Let's see what's in this one. These were all made in Thailand and it looks like this just has a zebra tarantula. One Thai zebra tarantula and salt, that's it. So it's gonna be like the water bug I expect. But this one's a little fuzzier. He doesn't seem as dry. One Thai zebra tarantula. Here we go. On the count of three. One. Two, three. <laughs> mm. Oh, ah, oh. Oh. Okay. Ugh. 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 So, these have to be novelty items. You cannot get me to believe that these are eaten for fun or because they taste good. That one was the worst. Oh. It was just, it was harder to get down because it was fuzzy. It was, it was kind of crispy, but it was fuzzy. Like, I was like, 
it was wrapped in a piece of cloth or something. So it, it made it hard to swallow. Oh, and it just had a dirty flavor to it. Something about all these, there's just something, I guess it's because they're bugs. They just have a dirty, gross, it's like you're eating dirt, just a dirt flavor to it. Oh, ugh. And that also tasted kind of stale, like it had been packaged a long time ago. Oh, cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this, even though it's not something I would recommend. I do not recommend any of these. None of these are endorsed by Hoosier Daddy. <laughs> Don't go out and eat bugs. Stick with real meat. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, wow. But like I said, I do want to try to develop an appreciation for unusual foods. And I don't know that I can appreciate these though, but if you do, if you like bugs or if you've tried any other kind of bugs, let me know down in the comments what kind of bugs you've tried, where you tried them, and what your favorite is. Make sure you check out the description down below because there's all kinds of links and great information for you down there. I'm also on TikTok and Instagram and Facebook, so all of those links are down there, so make sure you check those out when you are done with this video. So That's all I got for you today. Thanks for joining me. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.